Hey guys, it's Justine. Today we're doing a mid-century modern IKEA hack on this Askfall set. I bought this when I moved to California. It gets the job done, but I definitely don't love it. So let's give it some, some flair, some new life, and uh, I'll show you how. The first thing I did was pop one of the drawers out um, and I just pulled the faceplate off. It was pretty easy. Um, it has two screws and then two little dowels that go into the pre-drilled holes. Um, when I'm doing stuff like this, one quick tip is I like to take a picture of how it was when I was disassembling it. That way when I put it back together and I forget what I did, I have a picture on my phone. So. I want my drawers to have like kind of a a U shape here inspired by some mid-century modern furniture design. Um, so I'm going to pull the hardware off, but I'm going to save it because um, it could come in use on a future project. We'll end up throwing these away, but I'm going to use this as a template because IKEA already did the work for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull all the dowels out. Now I'm going to make a template for my drawer faces. And the way I did that was literally just by tracing the faceplate on a piece of chipboard. Um, and then once I had that line down, I just used a straight edge to cut it down to size. I'm just gonna make sure that that's pretty much right. I'm gonna find the midpoint. So you could go ahead and measure, or you could go ahead and just fold the thing in half. The design of my drawer, I kind of want it to look like this with a lip that dips in like that. And then you'll have a little groove for your fingers to use to pull the drawer out. So to find that kind of curve, I just used a straight edge to give myself a, an equal border on three sides. And then once I had those drawn, I used the midpoint that I found and I drew one side of the curve. Once I had the first side of the curve drawn, to get the other side, I just cut the first side out and then went ahead and flipped it over to the other side. And that way you get an equal curve on both sides without having to do too much work. Now that I have my cardboard template, you can use newspaper, a big poster board, whatever you have on hand. Um, I'm just gonna transfer that to this drawer face because that's what we're gonna use to make all the other drawers. Um, we're gonna use these holes later down the line when we put the drawers back together. And since they're already on here, I'm just gonna drill all the way through. That way we can use it as a guide when we have the second drawer faces made. Just be sure when you're um, drilling these holes that you're using the same size drill bits as the holes that are already there because we're going to be working with the same hardware that IKEA sent in the first place so we really want to make sure that we're drilling the right size holes. I'm just going to make this cut so we have um, a master template of what the drawer face is going to look like. master template made I'm just making sure that the height of my lumber matches and then I'm gonna go ahead and trace the width right on the lumber and I'm leaving just about an eighth of an inch between each drawer face when I'm tracing to, to accommodate the width of the saw blade Once I had all my drawer faces cut, and remember I'm making two dressers, so I have a total of six, I went ahead and just traced that curve for my master template right onto the drawer face, and I used a jigsaw to cut it out. Once I had all of my drawer faces cut, I just went along with an OG router bit. That way I don't have to install any hardware, you can just pull the drawers open by slipping your finger behind that little groove. And 
and remember to wear an apron on this one. After I gave the drawer faces a quick sand, I went ahead and cut down my Luan two sheets at a time. This is going to get attached to the back of the faceplate, so there's something right behind the lip of where the finger pull is. Now I'm just going to attach that Luan with a little bit of wood glue and some nails right to the back of the faceplate. Now that we have all of the drawer faces built, we're going to um, take the template, which is the old drawer face, and use it to drill these holes on them. Remember how we pre-drilled? That's what we're going to use now. What we're going to do is take our new drawer face and put it face down. And I'm going to take my template and put it right on top. And I'm going to use the, these holes as guides for where the new holes are going to go. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to put my drill bit in and I'm going to make sure that it's all the way butt up against the back of the chuck. We don't want to drill all the way through this piece. So we need to give ourselves an idea of where to stop drilling. So I'm going to thread this through the hole that I need to drill. And I'm just going to put a piece of tape right there on my drill bit. Just make sure that's on there. And just re remember when you change this, just make sure it's all the way flush up against the back of that chuck. Otherwise your, your depth will change a little bit. So when you're drilling, you just want to make sure you stop right there. And I'm going to do the same with my bigger bit. and pre-drill our holes. And so when the tape gets to the back of the template, right there, you're gonna know to pull out and that way your drill bit won't go through the front of the drawer face that you're working on. To find this edge, I'm just gonna measure the, the distance from this outside edge to the start of the channel. And so, Looks like we have five eighths. And to get a really quick cut on this, I'm just gonna set up a jig on my router so that we can rip them down really quick into the new drawer faces. I'm screwing a piece of scrap wood right onto my router five eighths of an inch away from the bit. That way it'll ride against the side of the drawer face plate and give me a consistent cut the whole way through. All right, so now that we have all of these guys made, we're just gonna pop these old Ikea ones off and pop these guys on. Once you have all of that done, you can go ahead and start taking the hardware out of the old drawers and putting them into the new ones and reassembling them. Once I had them all assembled, I stained them to match the outside box of the dresser, which is how they came from Ikea. And once they're dry, I'm just going to pop them back in. Right, guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and that you're inspired to get out there and make something for yourself um, if you have any questions or comments you can always leave them in the section below and don't forget to like and subscribe so you're staying up to date on what projects i'm doing and what you can do in the future so i'll see you soon